It's a stand strong. One thing I don't like when you're traveling alone and you want to go get food, you have to take your whole entire luggage with you to go get food because there's nobody that's going to look after those things for you. I wish you can like <laughs> leave it to somebody, but then you don't want to risk it because you don't know who'll be up here. <laughs> I just got to the Washington number 1742, service to San Francisco. Please come to me number D3 for boarding and an offline departure. Get flight number 1742 D. I had to walk like almost 13 minutes to my gate even though I had like seven hours I just wanted to get here and sit down and eat and edit the videos that I have recorded already and I'm gonna be going with my aunt she's coming in so let me tell you all my experience on this flight do you know when people like go on flight and they're like oh they had like kids sitting behind them and the kids were like kicking their seat I always be like oh and probably it's not that bad karma was just coming for me because I had two kids and I believe they were like four years old and like maybe seven years old from the beginning to the end these kids kept kicking my seat and the windows we kind of like share a window and they were like opening the window and closing it I'm trying to go to sleep because I wake up at like 2 a.m. So my ass is trying to go to bed a little bit before I get here so I can I can edit and then not fall asleep. And these kids were like, and their mom was just sitting there looking at them. And I get it. It's like stressful traveling with two kids. So I'll just let them do whatever they want to do. But also like be like, keep it down, kids. But yeah, we're almost there. We're not even halfway through this trip because my next flight is going to be like 10 hours. And it's going to be a long one. But hopefully that flight is comfortable and I'm not going to be alone like I was on this flight. I'm going to be with my aunt. So I'm pretty sure it's going to go smooth. Am I the only one who don't trust these airport chargers? Like, I'll like be iffy about them because you don't know what they be putting in that thing. I always carry this um, bank, portable trigger bank it is so good i have two of them because one belongs to kk so i i took it with me because he's not going anywhere um so i have two of them it charges computers that's how powerful it is yeah ma oh i've been on coco masi i got comfy guys i have like my blanket right here and then my laptop it's getting too wet. Guys, look at what happened to me. I was just editing the video and all of a sudden my computer turned off. Shit is dead. Like, dead. I wasn't even paying attention to the battery. Wow. 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 Hello, loves. So now my voice is going to take over because I have some pretty good news to tell you guys. So originally, this is not the seat that I was supposed to be in. When I bought my ticket, I bought a regular seat in the economy. I was going to go sit back there in the small seat space with no leg room whatsoever. But I got upgraded last minute to premium seat. It was such a long story. If I decide to tell you guys the whole entire story, it's going to be the entire video. But all I have to say is when you're traveling and you get to the ticket area or where you have to, you know, show your ticket to get in, just be nice to those people out there. And you one day find a good Samaritan who's willing to give you a free premium seat and that is what happened to me guys this was such an amazing flight i loved every second of it so if you're going to ghana totally recommend united 
I'm not sure if you guys were here. It's gonna time and I just wanna show you guys what happened. Alright. So. We're here. We're here. This is just the beginning of things. We made it. Okay, we just landed. We've been through a lot. We've been a through lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> At the airport. It's hot. It's really hot. It's burning. Meanwhile. I'm melting. I had a jacket on. I had to take it off because I was sweating. But anyways, we're getting ready to go home now um, to drop off our stuff and get ready for whatever is coming next. Whatever adventure is coming. Whatever we gotta do. We're gonna go get ready for that. I'm trying to get, we're trying to wear the gas station right now. Five sensors. That's cool. Wow. The fan. It has five sensors. The fan. Yeah. Wow. So, yes, <laughs> I brought it with me. They don't just don't understand why I'm so hot and I need I need cold wind or AC or some sort of cold wind to survive. It's serious. So it's the heat over here. I'm gonna try to stick this in between my legs. So we're gonna go out to eat right now. It's so hot. I took my wig out because yeah, <laughs> my scalp was burning. Everybody say hi to Joshua. Oh hey. Joshua is my my personal caretaker in a craft. Right? Like he takes he's gonna take care of me on, on this whole entire trip. Take care of you, I'm gonna bully you. Oh bully! <laughs> <laughs> Not bully. <laughs> I'll see you guys when we get to the restaurant, okay? <laughs> okay, we're here at the food joint. Yeah. About to eat. I'm happy. What are you having? <laughs> Why are you trying to copy me? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is called... Uh, what's the name? Oseko. This is Oseko, man. Eh? Oseko. Oh, the place is called Oseko. Yeah. yeah, we're about to eat some African food. Yeah. Some real, real, real African food. Yeah. I didn't drive. I didn't. I, mean, I didn't drive. I didn't fly all the way over here to eat American food. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't fly all the way over here to eat American food. So we're gonna chop some for food. Some yeah. Very nice, nice. Food. Uh, what else? So, yeah. Yeah, wait for the food. Yeah, yeah, wait for the food. Wait for the food. I'm hungry. I can't think straight. I'm so hungry. <laughs> So yeah, this is how you eat food. food. <laughs> this is the, the right way. This is how you eat food the right way. Eat with your hands. Eat with your hands. Yeah. So uh, I was like playing over here. What I was doing, I wasn't eating. It was just, just, just act, you just acting it American. Just act so you couldn't finish your food. <laughs> no, I couldn't. I know because it was a lot. So the man had to cut my meat for me because. <laughs> my teeth <laughs> is not capable. <laughs> Smell. It's not capable. My teeth is not capable to chew or it like from the. So he had to like cut them in pieces. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try. Okay, this side is not that hard. This side is actually softer.
All right, guys, today is today's Thursday, and we're going to have a little adventure today. We're going to go out to the Blast Star Square. Why am I asking you guys? Because I don't know where we're going. Anyways, <laughs> to the Blast Star Square today. So I believe this was my last day in Accra and I had to go to Kumasi for the wedding. But before I left, I met with Sheldon. If you guys don't know who Sheldon is, I did an interview with him and I'm going to put it up here. You can click on it or you can watch it after the video. It's also going to be in the description. But he was nice enough to take me to the content house in Accra. I am about to post a whole entire video on this content house, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and you won't miss it when I post that video. So thank you so much today for bringing us and I'll see you when I come back. No problem. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Yo, you should see his car. I'm going to show you a full, a full view of his car. He drives a whole bed, so this man has money, money. <laughs> And as soon as we got to Kumasi, my grandpa did not hesitate and put us straight to work. Honestly, this was fun for me because I hadn't done these type of jobs in a long time. And doing this with family was like a cherry on top. My auntie is going to start speaking chi in a little bit. But basically what she's saying that I'm doing it wrong. But what does she know? She's the one that's holding the camera and not doing anything. So... This is fresh mango. Fresh, fresh mango. Fresh, organic. Because <laughs> Just when I kept you, you know me, bingo. 
go. Touch me, touch me, touch me and do it me gently. Touch me, touch me, touch me and just do it gently. And just like that, my trip to Kumasi was over and it was time for me to head back to Accra. I decided to drive back to Accra instead of taking the plane, but it was a nice road trip. I really had fun on the road with the groom and the bride back to Accra. Three days later, back in Accra, I had to go back to Dallas. This is the end of my video, my entire vlog to Ghana. I hope you really enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy my content and make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!